Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Stacy. Yeah, I bet y'all like this thing right here. <laughs> I know y'all, I know y'all. Again, another late video. Time got away from me. Tomorrow I'm gonna get on track because I don't I, I I think I did all my running around. So now I can get back on track and focus on what I got to do. So anyway, y'all. Don't forget to like this video, leave comments down below. Okay, y'all. This is what I want to talk about real, 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 real quick. But it's, I just had a conversation. I was sure she go watch it. And it was about losing yourself. Just when you, as a single parent, or not even, you don't even have to be a single parent. You could be somebody that just have always tried to look out for people and be there for people and you're always doing for people. And you look up one day, in my case, and in hers, your children grown, everybody off doing their thing, and you realize, hmm, who am I? You almost feel lost because everything you have ever done has been about other people. Everything, everything that you have done have been about other people. And it's like now you're trying to figure out what you're going to do. And this is what the reason why I want to talk about this tonight is because this is someone, and I did mention it in a video or something the other day, but this is someone who have been through a lot of stuff throughout their lifetime and was always, that's the one who I said, you know, was always busy doing a whole lot of nothing. Like, girl, what are you doing? You've been busy all day, but what did you get accomplished? You just, you busy doing a whole bunch of nothing. You, you're busy doing everybody else's chores and running and doing favors for everybody else and you're letting yourself go. Well, some things happened in her life and then, I, you know, she got on track, doing excellent, putting self first, doing her thing. And now she's finding herself back in that same place, starting to pedal backwards, unintentionally, nevertheless. But she's doing it. And when she told me today that she went to the doctor, her blood pressure is up, she done picked up weight, I'm like, oh, no. Because let me explain something to y'all about this whole blood pressure thing. And the blood pressure, as we know, is a silent killer. But then she's talking about how she is angry. And that is what has driven the blood pressure up and all that bent because she's holding in a lot of anger. And like I told her, you know better than anyone. Anger is like cancer. It, it, it eats away at your body slowly like cancer. And if you got too much anger in you, and if you hold it on to too much anger, it becomes aggressive. Let me tell y'all something. Stop holding on to anger because of things that other people are doing. Let me tell you, if somebody is doing something or saying something that's hurting you, address it. Stop holding on to it. Stop pretending like it doesn't exist or if you ignore it long enough, it'll go away. I'm here to tell you, it's not going to go away. It's going to get bigger. It's going to get worse. And it's going to, and as I tell you, it's going to come out at the absolute worst time that it could. Stop ignoring things that you don't like. If somebody's saying or doing something you don't like, deal with it. That don't mean you got to blow up and nut up and act a fool. There's always a way, there's a way to do everything. But the thing is, when you realize that what everybody is doing is hurting you your blood pressure is up 
you're gaining weight, your hair falling out, you can't sleep, you, or either you can't eat, so you're dropping weight like crazy, and your work, you're, you're, you're messing up at work, you're, you're not doing your, your chores at home, because you don't, little do you realize you're falling into depression, that stuff is real. And let me tell you something, a person that is doing the, the things to you to hurt you, they're not going to stop if you don't stop them. People can only do to you what you allow them to do. Stop allowing it. I'm not telling y'all anything I haven't said to say to myself. Stop allowing it. Hell, I can't get mad at somebody if they treat me in the kind of way if I'm allowing it. I choose who I be around. I choose who be around me. So if I'm allowing you to, if you still got access to me, if I haven't denied your access, if I'm still granting you access to me, and you just acting a fool, and you and clearly you're not appreciative of the access, then access denied. Now I'm going to have to cut you off. And like I had to tell her, I'm going to give it to you just the way it was given to me. Like I had to say to her, I'm going to tell you the same thing I had to tell somebody else from years ago. You better stop letting everybody get you upset, have you all stressed out. Because let me tell you something, God forbid if you should die today, they might grieve for a hot moment. And then they're going to be right back doing the exact same ish that they was doing before. Let me tell you something. No. Mm -mm. It's only so much that I'm going to allow. But when I start realizing that what I'm allowing you to do is affecting my health, now it's time to make some changes. And like I had to tell her, I love you, baby girl. I don't want to get no call about you. And then come to find out, you know, like I told you, yo, yo, everybody else. It's going to be the death of you if you're not careful. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Let me tell y'all something. Life is short and it's precious. Stop allowing people. This is something I heard, and it was through a sermon by Smokey Norfolk. Like he said, people handle you the way they perceive you. So if you got people always dumping garbage in you, always coming to you with some bull, always throwing foolery at you, it's because they perceive you to be a trash can. Are you a trash can? If you're not a trash can, if you're not a dumping ground, stop allowing people to dump garbage all in you and around you. Stop letting people do things to you that you would not do to them. It's okay to say no. As a matter of fact, you better learn to say no because your life depends upon it. Stop allowing any and everything. It's okay to say no. And if they don't like it, what are they going to do? Get mad and stop talking to you? Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. Because if you got mad at me because I said you would no longer treat me that way or you would no longer dump trash in me and on me and you doing you dropping everything on me and you going off doing what you want to do, if you got mad at me because I said that and you want to stop talking to me, bye. Good riddance. Good riddance. See you. Let me tell y'all something. Don't keep doing it. Don't keep doing it. That's all I got to say. Don't keep doing it. Y'all, let me tell you something. Again, life is too short to be anything but happy. You better live your life. Everybody else off doing their thing. You better learn to do yours. <laughs> and like I said, if they get mad, let them get mad. What they going to do? Stop talking to you? All right. Bye. But anyway, y'all, that's the attitude. You have to, you have to be serious about you. You got to be serious about you. You know, everybody ain't going to handle you the way you would. Stop letting folks mishandle you. Stop letting people just do stuff to you and thinking it's okay. It's not okay. 
It's not. You have to stand up for yourself. If you don't protect yourself, who, who will? If, if you don't say no because this right here is not, is not working for you, who else going to say no? Because as long as you're allowing people to do it, people are not going to say no. They ain't going to say, oh, let me stop doing them like that. No. What? I'm going to get, hey, they ain't saying nothing. I'm going to keep doing it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It stops today. It stops today. Care enough about yourself to learn to say no. And stick to it. Let your nose mean no. Don't waver. Don't waver. But anyway, <laughs> I just love y'all. But before we get out of here, y'all, I want to tell y'all, please don't forget the mall is going up soon. Actually, it's pretty much up already. But um, don't forget to go to my website. If you want to get, uh, we got, we actually got some more black, Tees and tanks, but we only have the small, mediums, and larges uh, still available. My website, stacybrownspeaks.com, as well as we have white, white tees and tanks. So, y'all, and if you go in, you go on my website, you place your order through the email there. You place the order there, and then you cash out. My cash app is on the uh, website, and then your order will go out the next following day. I love y'all, my BSSTs, and... Coming soon, Motivation Mall. It's up and running, but I want to officially present it to y'all before the end of the week. I love you, my BSSTs, and I'll see you all when tomorrow.